Hey everyone, Brett Kelly here for another Tuesday Tech Tip 45 Drives. This week, I am talking about Cephi SCSI, the various ways that this is done today in the world. Sneak peek, there's two. And uh, one really great software appliance, Petasan, that wraps it all up into one. Okay, so a little bit of context here. Uh, like I said, there's two ways Ceph is exported via iSCSI uh, currently right now. I'll call it the Red Hat way and the SUSE Linux way. Um, at its core, Ceph can be exported via iSCSI to pretty much emulate a fully featured SAN. So like as anyone who knows in the IT world what a SAN accomplish, you can make your Ceph cluster work the same way via iSCSI. So let's start with the Red Hat way. So I'll, I'll call it kind of like the standard way of doing this right now. Um, it utilizes, so it being the Cephi SCSI gateway, the piece of software that kind of does the exporting of this, it utilizes the Linux IO uh, subsystem, so LIO. Uh, for those who are familiar, it's like the standard way uh, Linux would, would, would do iSCSI and export blocks uh, out that way. Um, it utilizes the, the LIO module which speaks to a user space daemon called TCMU runner, which it communicates with the libRBD library, which actually talks to Rados. So that's kind of how the flow goes that way. It's all in user space, and everyone loves developing in user space because you don't have to get around all those uh, difficulties of building it into the kernel and everything like that. So that's how the Red Hat way functions right now. The SUSE way, um, or also the Petasan way, um, getting ahead a little bit, skips the user space way, uh, the, the user space kind of uh, access into the Ceph cluster. They still use LIO because that is that core subsystem of how iSCSI works in Linux, but they have built a RBD uh, module, kernel module, into the kernel, and that's how LIO speaks directly to the RBD images on your Ceph cluster. So as you can see, it kind of cuts two of the, the user space layers out and buries it right into the kernel. Okay, so what does that mean? Which way is the preferred way? Does one not work? Does one work over the other? Well, no, both fully support the, the idea of being a fully fe featured SAN. Um, whether you're using the user space Red Hat way or the kernel SUSE Linux way, both function correctly and work correctly. Like, there's no issues with that. Where the question really comes into is some kind of obscured iSCSI features and performance. For some people probably know where I'm going with this is when you live in user space land, sometimes you fight latency a little more than when you live in kernel land. So because of that, the SUSE Linux way, from our experiences and from a lot of people's experiences out on the internet and in production and stuff like that, the, the kernel backed way of doing this is significantly more performant than the TCMU runner way. Again, both are fully supported, both work fine. Actually, the TCMU runner way kind of integrates in better with the, the official community kind of Ceph dashboard. But uh, really, it all comes down to performance. The kernel way does perform better. So that leads me into like here at 45 Drives, what are our experiences with it? Well, we have used both methods in our lab testing and in production. Uh, environments and we have found that the um, SUSE Linux kind of kernel backed way is a much more performant and allows some extra features such as iSCSI 3 persistent reservations which is needed for some Windows clustering um, to be the kind of better enterprise solution as in we've used both and everyone is very pleased with the with the performance that you get out of the kernel system so with that out of the way, I haven't talked about Petasan yet. Petasan is a wonderful purpose-built appliance for Ceph iSCSI. Um, like we've talked before, Ceph is the universal Swiss Army chainsaw of storage. It can do everything. Um, and the, the team, Majed, at, um, a friend of ours at, um, at Petasan, really took that, saw that, and built a wonderful streamlined UI that is really just designed to give a, a SAN-like um, experience with Ceph and iSCSI as possible. 
they have chosen to use the SUSE kernel backed method over TCMU. Um, they've built their software in a way that both can be layered in and as the TCMU runner becomes more stable and more performant that maybe we can use both or one over the other. They, they're very thought ahead that way. And uh, we prefer that solution for, for doing pure iSCSI, particularly if you're using disks into Windows or into VMware, Petasan. Um, we love it because it's built to do iSCSI great, which keeps our customers pleased and it's still Ceph underneath. It still is Ceph storage. So uh, um, with that kind of story and context out of the way, this kind of leads us into our next video you're going to see next week where we dive into the nitty gritty of like what Petasan is. Let's take a look at the UI. Let's see it hooking into VMware. Let's take a look at performance. So I hope you learned something. Again, tune in next week. We're going to go into some more detail on this. And as always, you know where to reach us on all our social media platforms. Any questions, comments, ideas, let us know. Uh, see you again real soon.